Hi friends, welcome back to Venki's channel. If you haven't watched the previous videos, click on the top right corner. In the previous class, we have learned how to add and subtract decimals. Today, we are going to learn how to divide 4 digit numbers by 1 digit numbers. If you don't know how to divide 3 digit numbers by 1 digit numbers, click on the top right corner because without knowing that concept, it is very difficult to learn this concept. Understanding that concept is really easy. And now let's learn today's concept. It is very similar to dividing 3 digit numbers by 1 digit numbers. We all know that these 4 rows are known as the question set and these 4 rows are known as the answer set. For representing the question, we use this rod as the unit rod and for representing the answer, we use this rod as the unit rod. So first we have to represent the question 4520 divided by 5. We have to represent the first number which is also known as the dividend. So 1's rod, 10's rod, 100's rod and 1000's rod. 4520. And now we have to divide it by 5. For that let's check the first digit. It's 4. 4 is lesser than 5. So we cannot use it. Let's include the next digit as well. Then it becomes 45. 45 is greater than 5 so we can use it. Since we are including this rod also which is also called the 100 rod our answer should also be represented on the 100 rod. So 45 divided by 5 here 5 is also called as a divisor. 45 divided by 5 is 9 and there is no reminder. 5 into 9 is 45 so 9 on the 100 rod in the answer set and 9 into 5 is 5 so subtract 45. And now let's go for the next rod. 2. 2 is less than 5, so we cannot use it. Let's include the 1's rod as well. Then it becomes 20 because there is nothing on the 1's rod, so it's 0. And 2, 0 is 20. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. Since we included the 1's rod also, the answer should be represented on the 1's rod. 5, 4 is 20, and we have to subtract 20. There's no remainder. So it is 9 not 4. 9 not 4 here is also called as the quotient. Now let's go for the next problem. 6791 divided by 7. First we have to represent 6791. And let's check the fourth digit. 6. It is lesser than 7. So we cannot use it. Let's include another digit. Then it becomes 67. 67 is greater than 7, so we can use it. 7 nines are 63. I am representing on the 100 chart because we included the 100 chart in the question set. And it is 63. So we have to subtract 63. And now let's include the 10 chart as well. 4 9, 49. So 7 7 size 49 as we all know. Since I included the 10th rod, the answer is also represented on the 10th rod. 7 7 size 49, so I've subtracted 49. And now the next digit. It's 1. 1 is lesser than 7, so we cannot use it. But there are no more digits after 1. So we have to use 0. So our answer is 970 or 970 and our remainder is 1. First, let's write 970 or our quotient. And now, we have to keep a decimal point since there is a remainder. So, if we keep a 0 beside 1, it becomes 10. So, 7 ones are 7 which is closest to 10. And our remainder is 3. Because 10 minus 7 is 3. So, it becomes 30 because if you keep a 0 beside 3, it is 30. 7 fours are 28. And now our remainder is 2. 7 twos are 14. And now our remainder is 6. So 7 eights are 56. And 4 is our remainder. 4 zero is 40. So 7 fives are 35. Since we've already gotten 5 digits after the decimal point and there are no repeating digits, we can leave it up to here because 5 decimal points are really accurate. 
not completely accurate but according to our level it can be accurate now let's do the next problem 5244 divided by 3 first 5244 on the equation set and let's check the first digit 5 it is greater than 3 so we can use it 3 1 is 3 and 5 minus 3 is 2 now let's include the next digit it becomes 22 3 7 is 21 so I'll subtract 21 and represent 7 and now when I include the next digit it's 14 so 3 4 is 12 and now I have 24 left 3 8 is 24 so my answer is 1748 Now let me do the next problem. 8629 divided by 6. First 8629 on the question set. And 6 into 1 is 6. 8 is greater than 6 so I have used it. And I subtract 6. Now let's, let me include the next digit as well. It becomes 26. 6 6 are 24. Now it's 42. So 6 7 are 42. And I have 9. So 6 1s are 6 and I subtract 6. So I have a remainder of 3. First let me write the answer. 1671. Now I have a remainder of 3. If I keep a 0 beside 3 it becomes 30. So let me keep a point and 6 into what is closest to 30 and 6 is into 5 is 30 if we subtract 30 there is no remainder so this is an accurate answer 1671.5 friends hope you understood the concept clearly if you have any doubts regarding the concept feel free to ask me in the comment section friends today's question of the day is 6453 divided by 9 give your answer for this question in the comment section and i will tell you whether it's correct or not in the next class, we are going to learn the Bodmas concept. It is a very interesting concept. Bye friends. Thank you for watching.